Warning! The following Let's Play contains scenes of high speed racing, drifting, near misses, and tons of crashes. Please obey the rules of the road and always wear your seatbelt. Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Burnout 2 Point of Impact. In the previous episode, we restarted the Point of Impact Grand Prix, and we did get three gold medal wins, but as I was recording the race at Big Surf Grove, I basically realized my game crashed, and next thing I know it, I wasn't able to record the entirety of that race. But, we basically won that gold medal in that one, so to speak. So, we're heading to Palm Bay Marina. Just two more races, and then it will be soon be time to com to conquer the Heart Attack Grand Prix. And away we go! Alright. So, as long as I don't do anything stupid, I'll be able to secure another win and eventually be able to unlock that final pursuit and unlock one of the final custom series cars. That is if that Japanese muscle allows me to do it without causing an accident. Burnout times one, that is good. And a jump! Burnout, but that's fine, we could basically burn out here! Woo! Whoa. 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 Oh. That was too close for comfort. I mean, if I could just stay calm and collect it, I'll be fine. Oh. Whoa, that was too close. Whoa. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh. 3.2 seconds ahead. That's good. That's really good. Oh. Yeah, I basically slammed myself into that one. Dang it. Well, we won't have the leaf for much longer. Not if I can help it. Almost caught up and surpassed him. That's great. Let's just keep this hype train going as long as possible. Woo! Yeah, I just slid myself into a guardrail. Man, hey! Okay! Wasn't expecting that. What? Wow, that... That was, like, super close. You know, I'm surprised, really, that there is no such thing as drafting in this game. The thing that most racers used to do, to basically get behind the front car, and then basically use their speed to pull you more speed, and then use it to zoom past so to speak. Okay, times five, six, seven. Let's see how long we can get this. Times eight, times nine. Woo! Times ten. Come on, let's see. It. Woo! Dang it! Times ten. That's the highest I think I've gotten so far. I may be. I could be wrong, but meh. It's fine. I mean, that burnout streak I had when I was racing against the supercar, oh my gosh, that was like, such a big, it was such a big epic gamer moment. Final lap, here we go. Cross the line, come on baby, come on. Times three, that's good, that is really good. Woo! 
times four. Oh. Yeah, I a... <laughs> Wow. I managed to dodge that first crash I had in the last lap, but not that one. Oh, oh, oh. Thing is, if you're getting too close to one of those AI cars and they crash, you have a chance for crashing into their wreck too. So, sometimes you need to stay back and wait for a moment to pass them when it's clear. Or when they have a wreck and you're not basically in the blast zone, so to speak. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. I'm staying in this lane for the entirety of the one back to the finish line. I know it's risky, but again, if I stay in the center lane, I'll be fine. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, phew! Now that was too close. But yeah, one more race to go. With only four crashes and 34 million points. One more race and we have sealed the deal. Final race. Airport Terminal 1 and 2 reverse. And this is basically the course that has basically the same physics as Airport Terminal 3. The more laps you do, the bigger the traffic around the airport well, the bigger the traffic around the airport terminal will go. I'm surprised that even though we're starting at the airport, I'm surprised airport security didn't come and like, uh, why are you guys doing a street race in the middle of an airport area? I'm surprised there's a lack of police anywhere. Oh, oh, that was, that was very much nerve wracking right there. Again, because the fact we're going in the opposite direction for most of the entirety of the course, there's going to be a high risk of us crashing into another car. Okay. Again, keep calm. Don't screw up. Because if I screw up, then basically all this racing with this custom car would have been for nothing. Any, uh, woo. I have to ask though, the boss was facing in our in the direction that we were going in the, in the first time we did this course. Well, in the normal Grand Prix series, but not, in, but not in this one in reverse. Is the boss always facing forward in the races, or is it always facing in the direction that we're going in on the course? Like facing forwards towards the road nearing the near the airplane gates, or facing as well as facing in this direction towards the, to the side roads, as well as to the intersection for airport terminal three, or is it basically just stuck in just one direction for the entirety of the time on both airport terminal one and two forward and reverse? I might have to look it up. And when I mentioned drafting, I meant to say slipstream. That's what I basically meant to say. Slipstreaming. There's no such thing of that in the game for some darn reason. Because slipstreaming is a very common way for a car to gain speed without basically getting that speed. Because if a car is faster up front, you could just go behind them and gain their speed. And then just use that same speed to zoom past. Yeah. It's something like that. I think I might have to look at that when we 
do like a quick race or something. But who knows? It could just be me. I might have to look it up myself. Because, I mean, if it's a coincidence that the bus is facing in the direction that we're traveling, I wouldn't be too surprised. Well, I would be surprised because the bus driver is basically doing the same route as we are. Again, who knows? Okay, final lap. Let's do this. Oh. Fretting the needle. Fretting the bloody needle. Well, to be honest, since this road is basically dual way and not just a one way street, I could probably guess why that bus was probably facing the same direction as us on the same course. <sighs> Gone through the tunnel without a single scratch. Only a little bit longer. Come on, come on. Second place is so far behind and can't catch up to us now. And across the line, we finally was able to get all the gold medals that we didn't seem to get on the first time we did the Point of Impact Grand Prix. And we got the best total and best lap times. All the biggest air, burnout total, high score, and biggest combo. Sweet! Although we won the trophy, we now have gotten all the medals. Which means, now we have unlocked Pursuit 6 on Ocean Sprint. Which will get us our final car in the entirety of the game. Now, from what I heard, the car that we're chasing is like super hard to get because granted we're basically going in the same direction towards Big Surf Shores as we're basically doing the normal forward version of the same course when we first got the cop car. Okay that's one damage node down. We just need to basically get a little bit closer. And hopefully I won't have to fail like I did when I was trying to get that darn pickup truck. Ooh, right at the beat drop. That is nice. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Oh. Okay. That actually was a good grace, so to speak. Uh, that was also a good grace, too. That car starting to smoke up a storm. It's not going to last much longer. little oncoming and a little bit of drifting to give me the boost I need to catch up to that guy again. Another damage note down. Only four units left. And once that car is down, it is down for the count. Jeez, come on, come on, just a little bit more. Oh, nuts. Dang it. We've only one note of health left. I finally had him. Ugh. <sighs> 
That one crash sealed the fate of my raid of my run. But there's no problem of trying again. I will get this car. I will get it. I will complete my collection. And I basically messed up on the beginning. Great. Oh. Oh. Sometimes I can't tell if I'm gonna have gonna crash or I'm just gonna basically trade right Woo! I think I might be able to catch up to him if I just use oncoming traffic. Only a little bit at a time, though. Not fully! But that taxi just ran into my lane. How rude. Uh, oh! What? 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 What the? Okay? Somehow I got stuck for a moment, and then as I soon passed it, then that car just got itself unstuck. <sighs> Janky Vixx, people. Whoa! Okay. I think I might be able to get him if I'm just super lucky. Just gotta get a little faster and just not overshoot! Oh, great, great. Okay, I'm saving my boost for when I need it. Right here. And he got away again. Fan freaking fantastic. Ugh. Ugh. Fan freaking fantastic. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That just goes back. <sighs> Let's try it again. Third time's the charm, as they would say. There we go. That's what we need to start off. Just a little boost so we can catch up to it as much as we can. Okay, that's when I was not expecting the bus just to push me towards the barrier. Alright, four units of de health down, which should... Okay, careful. So, basically, if I'm in front of that car, I'm just gonna use my brakes. It will keep my car from overspeeding and then eventually causing the car to crash itself because it can't register that speed. Uh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I think I might be able to get it this time. I mean, there's two units to the left, and only about, only two miles, well, less than two miles to go, and... Ha ha ha! Yeah, baby! And that...
is the final car in all of Burnout 2. We have basically unlocked every single car in the game, from races, pursuits, and face-offs. We have unlocked the Custom Muscle. So, in our next episode, we'll be getting the Heart Attack Grand Prix, the final Grand Prix series in all of Burnout, and basically using our newest ride, the Custom Muscle. Because I feel like this will be the coup de grace to help us win this entire series. Even if the control is bad, we're still using this boy. So, if you enjoyed this episode of Burnout 2 Point of Impact with me, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!